Revelation 1, 4 to 6. Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Happy Friday, everyone. Be reminded this weekend of Jesus' love for you. In him, you have a whole lot of love. He came in the name of love. In fact, you might say he was on a love crusade, so much so that he died for your sins. What more in the name of love could you ask for? His life showed you a love of another kind. That means his love was more than words and more than a feeling. Jesus paid your dues. He served your sentence but committed no crime. And he is the champion. His love unchained you from the sin, death, and devil. His love for you is tougher than diamonds and stronger than steel. He says to you, it's going to take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. In fact, with every breath you take and every move you make, his love will be watching over you because he loves you faithfully. Even if this world hurts you, his love won't desert you. Yes, Jesus loves you. This I know. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for your love for us. Your love has been demonstrated through the life that you lived, the life that you gave, and the life that you continue to live as you give to us your Holy Spirit and you continue to walk with us. Remind us today of how dearly loved we are. Remind us again today that the victory is ours and that we are a people and a children who have been set free free indeed. Bless us this weekend as we celebrate the love that we have in you. And it is in your holy and precious name we pray. Amen.